Good evening. First tonight, the RNLI accepts that lives will be at risk after taking away Jersey's only all-weather lifeboat. The boat left for the UK this morning after the entire St. Helier crew was dismissed by the rescue charity. It follows months of dispute between the two parties. And this morning, the RNLI said the relationship was too broken to continue a rescue service. Well, our reporter Daniel Skip has been following a dramatic day's live for us this evening. What can you tell us in terms of the latest developments tonight, Daniel? Yeah, Rob, let's be clear exactly what happened this morning. At around 20 past 10, the St. Helier all-weather lifeboat was removed from this harbour. All that's left is the inshore lifeboat. This building, the lifeboat station, has been locked until further notice. This decision comes after what's been a year of bitter blows between two sides. I think both parties have accepted that this is a relationship that cannot continue. It's got so bad, it has to stop. Let's... Have a look now how we finally come to this point. Uh, yep, 20 shouts since uh, it was put into commission. Um, it's just uh, state of the art. It's, it, it's unbelievable, you know, difference to the old boat. Um, you know, we all love being on it. it. Makes the job so easy. And obviously, like I say, three million pounds worth of boat. You know, what more can you say, really? Fantastic. And for eight years, it's been used to save hundreds of lives at sea. But this morning, Jersey's only all-weather vessel left this station on a one-way trip. Back on shore, the crew were told they'd lost their jobs for the first time in its history. This building is now closed. We're not sort of surprised in some respect, but we're actually shocked that they would take a life-saving asset that Jersey has paid for um, and to leave us with no cover whatsoever in St. Helier um, through no fault of our own. Um, you know, they caused this, they've made this as well. And to leave the island short like this is, well, ridiculous. But what's caused a union lasting for more than 100 years to split? The relationship between the local crew and national organisation has been far from plain sailing after the sacking of their coxswain earlier this year. Mass demonstrations followed and the crew resigned. Thursday the 6th of April 2017 will go down in maritime history for the wrong reasons. After an inquiry, Andy Hibbs was reinstated but this wasn't enough for the team. They say the relationship is unsalvageable and announced they wanted to part ways with the organisation completely. Their treatment of this crew is absolutely disgusting and we just cannot take any more. And today, um, as bad as it is, it's actually a relief because I've had to live this for a year. And what I've suffered personally, all of our families, um, you know, it just, it just can't carry on. But for those whose office is the sea, it's the future they're worried about. Today's move means there won't be an all-weather lifeboat in Jersey for at least several months and possibly longer. The RNLI say their focus is to reinstall an inshore lifeboat for St Helier within the next eight weeks. But the island's fishing community say that won't be enough. The inshore lifeboat does a great job, but it, it, it is what it is. It is an inshore lifeboat. It's, it's not designed for and it's not capable of dealing with emergencies on the high seas in, in bad weather, so that um, um, it leaves a big gap in the coverage. And monitoring that coverage is Jersey's harbour master. The waters might be calm today, but they never know when the next emergency will be. How concerning is this news for Jersey? The Headless Station is the only all-weather boat on the island. But that's not the only all-weather boat we can call on. We've got the weather boat available in um, Guernsey, or weather boats available in France. Um, there is a time difference, but then we're able also to call on um, air assets from both France and the, and the UK. So we are going to miss the station, but we do have flanking cover. But for politicians, finding a long-term solution is now a priority. Next week, we will be meeting with the crew. We want to hear their plans for their independent boat. We want to understand a bit more about that. But similarly, we will be continuing to talk to the institution for two reasons. One, they still have a station at St Catherine. But similarly, they have indicated today that they look forward to a future in St Helier as well. But the ultimate option has to be the best boat, the best crew, the best kit, because we want the best life-saving uh, resources we can possibly have. But for now, the best boat is on its way to Pool Harbour. A charity and crew once united by their goal to save lives at sea. Now after more than 100 years separated by conflicts here on land.
The thing is, with this story, is nobody really wins. The RNLI say they've never been in this position before. The crew have lost their jobs. And I think from speaking to everyone today, there is a real sense of sadness. But there's also a sense of deep concern, too. We're going into the winter. Weather, weather is set to get worse. There's sure to be some storms on the way. After the meeting today, I wanted to catch up with the RNLI to find out why they've taken this big, bold decision to remove the all-vessel lifeboat and leave Jersey with essentially nothing. It's been, uh, it's been very difficult and I think it's fair to say that everyone has worked really hard not to get to this point and it's important to say that. Everyone's worked really hard to try and rebuild this relationship but unfortunately the relationship has broken down and that's where we are now. I think a big concern for a lot of people today will be that the lifeboat has gone. There is no lifeboat in St Helia. Why have you taken that decision? We've taken that decision because we have closed the lifeboat station and there is no crew at the lifeboat station. And so what we, what we do then is we take the boat, she'll go back to pool, she'll have a full service and she'll stay there safe until we know what the future is. But what about if the there's island. an incident near St Helia? Her life's not now going to be at risk. OK, so what we're trying to do very, very quickly now is we're trying to restore the inshore lifeboat as quickly as we can. That remains at St Helier, and we want to try and restore that. And that will significantly close that risk and close that gap. But in the winter weather, I mean, that's surely not the same facility that you had before. If a life is lost during this period of instability, whose fault is that? Uh, look, you know, part of the problem at the moment is that there has been a lot of blame, a lot of recrimination. But safety is the most important I, thing. I people am... will be watching our programme, they'll be saying uh, people are not going to be safe at the moment during this period of time. I, I agree with you that safety is the most important thing, but what I'm not going to do now is start figuring out whose fault it would be if something happened. I think what we have to do now is we have to work together to try and get a, a good life-saving service on the island of Jersey back as soon as possible. But some people would say it seems like bad blood is, is overtaking the, the, the need for safety here. That's why I think it's quite a sad day today. Uh, we all want That's to, how bad it's got, isn't we, it? We all want to save lives, but the relationship has broken down. And we, I cannot be confident with the current arrangement that I will not face constant challenge and constantly live under the threat of a crew resignation. And so for that reason, we have to close the station and try and move forward in a way that is sustainable and reliable. Well, we will have to wait and see exactly how they decide to move forward. In the meantime, I should reiterate that the Harbour Master has reinforced to Islanders today that contingency plans are in place and Islanders will still be safe. But there is no escaping that this is a landmark event for Jersey today, one that I'm sure everyone will be hoping will not have any negative consequences. OK, for now, Daniel, thank you.